It's that time in the show to check in with the crop markets with our grain marketing specialist, Dr. Kim Anderson. So Kim, what's going on? Well, if you look at the wheat harvest, it's a little, it's a little difficult to harvest wheat when you got 100% humidity and a drop of rain every once in a while. However, if you, if you look at the impacts of the rain delayed harvest, some areas you have a little decrease in test weight. The wheat's still coming in relatively good quality, slightly b below 60 a pound on probably on the average, but most wheat's coming in 60 pounds or better. You look at protein, wide margin in there, but I think the protein is coming in at least average or above average this year. It looks like it, it's relatively well. And the further north you go, the better the yields look. Uh, you get down in south central and southern Oklahoma, they still haven't gotten in there to see what they've got, but northern Oklahoma looks relatively good. You go out towards Japan, of course, it gets the harvest and the crop gets thinner and less out in that area. So let's dig right into the markets now. So what's what's some news happening that you're that you're hearing? Well, I think the biggest news is the Russian Ukraine fiasco. Russia came in this week. They said, hey, uh, we, we've opened the seed lanes. We'll open the seed lanes. Let uh, Ukraine uh, export wheat. Uh, we're exporting uh, wheat and so we'll we'll let that wheat out and then say oh uh, but you've got to drop all the sanctions so they they drop a, a, a carrot in front of the the market there you'll notice what happens when they do that you get uh, uh, declines in in wheat prices and that's I think we need to pay attention to that if Ukraine and Russia ever get to really exporting wheat it's going to take our prices down so what's happening to wheat prices well if you look at uh, wheat prices uh, go back to April 1 uh, you're somewhere in the uh, $8 range, $8, $9 range. Uh, wheat prices uh, went up to the $11.50 range, wallered around $11.50 to $10.50, got up to $13.13, and now they're back in that $10.50 to, to $11.50 price range. I think they're going to stay in that. Like I said, if Russia does re let Ukraine export wheat, those prices will, I think, break that, nine that $10.50 level. If the Ukraine starts uh, exporting, I think you're probably looking at nine or nine fifty. But right now, prices are close to eleven dollars. I think that that looks like a good equilibrium price for the current situation. So let's switch over to corn. So what's happening with corn prices? Well, if you look at uh, corn prices, and this is the cash prices at uh, local elevators range uh, since April one's been seven twelve to eight oh four. So about a 90 cent range there. Uh, prices got up into that $8, stayed up in there. They've came down. Uh, the corn uh, planting, you know, it was delayed. Uh, right now, we've probably got 94, 95% of our corn already in the ground, about the same as it is on average. So the, the corn is planted. Uh, we've got to be concerned about the availability of fertilizers and, and top dressing, but looks like that's all in good shape. So you've got corn prices, cash, Oh, running somewhere in the 750 uh, range. If you're looking at forward contracting prices, it's about 65 cents less than the current cash price. So that puts it just below seven dollars a bushel. So, given all this, what, what's your advice to producers when they're, when, you know, when they're looking at this market right now? I don't even watch corn prices. That's kind of fun to see what they're doing. See if they change. They're pretty flat right now in a dollar range. Uh, if you look at wheat prices, uh, you know we on the average, average a daily price move on wheat for the last two or three weeks of 30 cents a day, up or down. The biggest uh, price, 69 cents down one day, 49 cents up one day. You got a lot of volatility. You have volatility in the market like this, just stagger it in, sell it over time. Alrighty, thanks Kim. Dr. Kim Anderson, grain marketing specialist here at Oklahoma State University.